Okay, this video will actually walk you through finding first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, fourth derivative, so you can actually see a pattern, and in this case, to find the 77th derivative. Woo, doggies. Okay, so my original equation is sine of ax, where a is just some constant, so like sine of 3x, something of that sort. So when I take the first derivative, I remember the derivative of the sine is cosine, leave the inside alone, times, by the chain rule, the derivative of the inside. So again, remember that's just like 3x, so the derivative of ax would just be a, and then we just simply rewrite our cosine of ax. Second derivative, which means just take the derivative again. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative. So I, so I have this a out front, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is going to be negative a sine ax. And then don't forget, times the derivative of the inside again. So I would have negative a squared sine of ax, because I took that chain rule again. If I wanted to find the third derivative, the derivative of sine is cosine, and I have a squared already when I take the derivative of the inside again, so the negative comes down, I already have a squared, but when I do the chain rule again, guess what? A cubed cosine ax. So you can probably already see the pattern that's happening here. If I take the fourth derivative, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, a negative and a negative is a positive, and now notice the fourth power, sine ax. So hopefully you can see the pattern that's happening with the exponent and then also with the first derivative, positive, then negative, negative, and then positive. So what I do to find this is first of all, I see that I did these in fours and because they told me to, to find the first four derivatives, but if you kept going, you would see this repetition. So notice 19 times four is 76. So why do I need that? That means I have gone through this 19 times, so then the 77th time, therefore, f of 77 of x. So if I've gone through this, I mean, you can sit there and count it if you want, but 76 times, now the 77th time will be this first format where I will have a to the 77th, and then follow my cosine a to the x. And that's it. That's all, folks.